Today on Premiere Prep, we just dream. Okay, so, can't do the annoying orange effect in Blender. It's just no time. I have just a little while to put out an episode on time. So, what can I do? Today on Premiere Prep, we take a look at all the filmmaking uses of toilet paper. No, no, it's not cool enough. It's really only one use anyway. Oh, I could do. Today we're going to be making a camera rig out of an old coffee can. Terrible idea. I, I give up. If, if only I could think of something good to do. Hello Film Worlders, it's me your host Micah Pendleton and welcome to Premiere Prep. So yeah. I pushed the annoying orange effect forward one more week. I've had a breakthrough on it, but due to having a very busy week, I haven't been able to make the actual episode. But today is a very fun episode and a very fun effect that can be done super easy. The dream effect. When I first got version 1512 of Caden Live, which I reviewed here, I just sat and played around with many of the new tools and just explored it. And while I was playing around, I found the distort tool. And I was able to use this to make a dreamlike effect like you've seen in many movies and TV shows. I'm not sure if this tool is new in version 1512. That's just when I found it. Now let's do the effect. Open up Kden Live and bring your footage into the project bin. Add the clip that you want it to fade from, then add the clip you want it to fade to. Add yourself a quick dissolve between the two so that you can have a nice fade. Now to add the effect, go to the effects tab in your properties panel. Type in distort and drag and drop the effect onto your clip. Go to the point where you want your wobble to start happening and add a keyframe without changing either of the values. Now go to the end of the clip and add another keyframe. Change the amplitude to 190 and the frequency to 200. And that completes it for your first clip. Now go to the second clip and add the distort effect. Go to the very beginning of the clip and set the amplitude to 550 and the frequency to 200. Now go to where you want the effect to end. Change both of the values to zero and now you have this. Those numbers are what I used and may not be exactly what you want. This is just a guide to get you started and you may want to do something a bit different. So use this to go wild and do some fun dream sequences. Some big news before I go, I am starting a new show on this channel. It will be a weekly Q&A. I will also be sharing fans videos, giving movie suggestions, and more. I will be needing your guys' questions to answer, so make sure that you tweet me at Micah Pendleton with your question, or send me an email at filmworld96 at gmail.com, or leave a question in the comments below. Uh, remember, you guys can ask anything, so make sure you ask plenty of questions because I would love to answer them. All right, I'm thinking about it being a Tuesday show because Premiere Prep is on Sundays. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, share if you feel like it, comment, and subscribe. I'm your host, Micah Pendleton. Remember, dream big, pay small. I'll catch you next time.